Humor is uh, essential. It's, it's what makes us human. You know, no, you never heard of an animal that had a good sense of humor, although we might throw our projection on them. You know, my dogs had a good sense of humor. Well, I don't think so. Uh, humor is essential because humor is the recognition of the absurd, uh, which is life is full of absurdities. And the biggest absurdities are our own foibles <laughs> and ticks and, and uh, you know, not and bad habits or, you know, our idiosyncrasies. Uh, we have to enjoy and find lovable, although at times that's not easy, the funny things about each one of us and admit to them. Uh, phobias even, you know, without getting too deeply psychiatric or social, can be more serious, but, you know, we all have those things. And, and just, if you don't have, a, if you're bringing up a family and you don't, and particularly a, a large family of children, if you don't have a sense of humor, well, who knows what will happen, but nothing good. You have to see the funny, the funny part of life. And it's hard for some people. People are hard driving. And people who, it, you see, the people who are looking, who are searching for themselves are not going to find humor in things. But a person who enjoys people, we all have to enjoy each other. They'll, they'll be quick to laugh and quick to find the absurd in things that happen rather than react with anger, which is some people do when things don't go their way. Things are not meant to go our way. That's the nature where, you know, the, never forget original sin is at the heart. Even though God has opened the, the way to heaven to us and given us the means to get there, the reality is we are wounded, deficient human beings. Uh, and we and we're helped by grace, but we remain that way. Therefore, we're more than fallible. We make mistakes, and we make lots of mistakes. And we have to be quick to apologize, quick to recognize them, but also it's quick to just, there I go again, as this famous expression goes, uh, which you're familiar with it. Uh, there I go again. Pardon me. And you're this, if you have a sense of humor, you also can diffuse a lot of situations that otherwise could lead to the you know, proverbial, you know, the, the, the lamp being thrown across the room at a person's head. You know, the anger, yelling, screaming, manifestation, not talking to the other person for three days at a time, that type of business, which can happen in marriage at one point or another, but it's, it's really childish. And we are adults, and, and part of being an adult is that, you know, we talked about balance, also measured. Our, our reactions to things should be measured and not, and unfortunately in our society culture, oftentimes people talk about, oh, you let your emotions, you know, or you're even told by certain types of psychologists or psychiatrists, you have to express your anger. Well, that's a very dangerous thing to say to people. Uh, anger can be expressed, but it doesn't have to be expressed in such a way that's wounding or, or, or damaging to the people to whom it's, towards whom it's directed.